Hi, welcome back. I'm gonna change some stuff up today for you. Um, going to share with you what I am making for supper today, which will be butternut squash soup, homemade dinner rolls. They're like a honey butter dinner roll. And I'm going to make some homemade blueberry cobbler for dessert. We don't always do dessert, but the soup kind of complements, a dessert complements the soup really well. So I will walk you through everything that I'm doing and I'll put all of the recipe information in the description box below. You can, I will identify some modifications that you can make to the recipes. It's before nap time right now, so I am going to get started on the dinner rolls because they will need a few hours to rise. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Let's get into making the dinner rolls. So first I need about a cup of milk that is heated up to um, just warm for my yeast so it can rise. Once you get your milk warmed up, go ahead and add a little bit of your sugar, your half teaspoon, and then add in your yeast. And now we let it do something called proofing. Yeast has grown as you can see a little foamy and created little balls so now we can add it start adding in our other ingredients for three hours um, it is like 12 10 so at 3 10 they'll be ready and then I can put them in the oven whenever I need to <laughs> and now I'll go about doing some other things I need to do before I come back and get ready to make the rest of supper welcome back it's a lot later than I even anticipated because life happens. <laughs> anyway, I've got the oven preheating. I have a pan over here heating up. I have my Dutch oven heating up over there. So I'm going to cook some bacon in this pan and the soup will go in that pan. Okay, so for the soup, what you need, celery, potatoes of your choice. I do golden yellow potatoes. Yukon gold, yellow potatoes is what I do. Applications. Onion, garlic, stock, 
particularly chicken or veggie. That's the beauty in this recipe is you can modify it. So good. Um, I'm doing frozen carrots because we have plenty. And that's what we'll start with. Oh, we cannot forget the most important ingredient for the soup, can we? No. Squash. So this is a butternut squash recipe. You could do it however you want. Acorn squash, boca squash. Probably not spaghetti. I don't know if spaghetti squash would even taste good. But for now, I have my potatoes peeled. I'm going to slice and dice said potatoes and get that stuff going. But I'm also going to cut these up now. Well, first I'm gonna wash them and then I'm gonna cut the whole roll with it. So I'm gonna go ahead, wash these, and we'll get them cut up. So I just put the squash in the oven so it can break up a little bit before we put it in the pot. And as you noticed, I just cut them in half and I just threw them in there. Well, I placed them in there. I didn't throw them in there. Next up, I'm going to put together the cobbler. Now I'm having the recipe because we don't need that much. And it's actually not going to, we're just gonna have a little bit tonight and then we probably will have some with eggs in the morning if I'm being honest. out of the oven now you just you literally dump the blueberries in there and then I am going to put this batter on top and I'll show you when I'm done and as I and I realized as I was doing it I did it wrong you're supposed to put the batter in and the blueberries on top read your directions but that's what happens when the battery dies and you get all flustered <laughs> while you're trying to film a cooking video but I'm gonna go ahead and chop up these and get them all into the pot and I'll check back in with you once the battery figures itself out. Okay, well this is taking way longer than expected because the battery died and I've been waiting on it. Um, first off, cobbler's done, rolls are done. I got everything in the soup. Now we need to use an immersion blender. at this point but I recently got this mm, two three months ago amazing investment I don't know why I... now we like our butternut squash soup thicker such as this but if you don't like it that if you don't want it that thick go ahead and put more um, stock in there and Depending upon the day of the week, because we don't eat meat on Fridays, we've got some bacon. Also, 
some cotilla cheese. It's a Mexican cheese, usually used on um, Mexican street corn. And lastly, some papitas, which are just the kernels from the pumpkin seed. <laughs>